a little light in the field side. Those of you wishing to take uh, photographs uh, of yourselves in front of the statue of San Jose. Watch your touchy. Sonny Francis! Why are you doing the call?
And somebody's asking next Saturday we have Cousin Bruce Morrow broadcasting live from the stage also. But St. Gennaro's feast. And little it What just happened, everybody had to pick up the chairs and move because they're gonna bring the floats through here. Yes, they just set up all the chairs for the people to see Connie Francis. And she's coming with the float and the say. Thank the narrow. We're gonna run right down the, down the street. We have a float coming through. They're trying to organize it now. Sit side. back and enjoy. We have a float coming through. It's comedy time at St. Gennaro's. We love you, Connie. Rudy. Concertina. Concertina. I love the red hair. Beautiful. <laughs> Hey, Anthony, Anthony's got her. She's okay, Anthony's got her. Hey, Anthony, Anthony's got her. There's Connie Francis, the redhead. Hot star. A St. Gennaro. Connie, Concertina. Hello. Take her up the ramp. Sorry, sir. Move up the Anthony. Carry up. <laughs> There's Connie. Where the boys are, Connie? Where are they? Speaking pathway here. Connie's getting through the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Getting through the crowd. Come on up. Get a little organized here, ladies and gentlemen. Get a little organized. And the band's here, ladies and gentlemen. They're playing away. And there it is. The statue. Come on, Come on, Pick up that ramp, Tommy. You can do it, baby. That's Miss Francis. Argentina! Woohoo! Isn't she beautiful? She still got it, kids. She still got it. Hi, everybody. Hi, Connie! And you never know how great it feels to be back. 30 years huh? exactly is a day. That was a day, right? Let me tell you about that. Let me tell you about that. Why that happened? And I made these notes because I remember this exactly. For nine months before the piece, I was in Florida. I was in Florida. I was in Florida. I can't hear it. I was in Florida writing my first autobiography. I had not been in New York for my nine months. Who knew what was going on in New York, especially in politics? 
had read the New York Family News, the New York Post, the New York Star Ledger in months. Okay, so one day in California, I got this inspirational bug struck me. And I said, I'm going to sing at the John Sandra North And also I'm going to invite Mayor Koch at the time, who lived in New York. And then I took two days to write special lyrics to Mayor Koch to your the top, the song you're the top. And when it was announced in the press, that's when my problems began. I had such an amazing amount of calls, deluge with calls from my family, from friends, from every other accounting organization in New York, in the tri-state area, from everyone. And the first call came from my father. And he began with this. You dumb bastard. What are his pet names for you? I said, what do you like to now, man? He said, you don't read the paper to him? Don't tell me. In the paper today, your mother and I are so going through such aggravation, everybody's calling us, that you would support a Jew over an Italian. I said, what are you talking about? Don't you know about the, you don't read the papers anymore? You don't know about the election? What election? The government's gubernatorial election between Koch and Mario Cuomo and in the second hour yet, you go back in Italian, you go back in Jew. So, here was the story, as it appeared. Here was Mayor Koch and I, 30 years ago. And here was the story. Francis, what election? So your kind of Francis said, it never occurred to her that there's an election in New York when she agreed to sing you're the top in Italian, not in Mexico, to Mayor Koch at the San Gennaro Festival. She angered many Italian-Americans supporting Mario Cuomo in the Democratic gubernatorial fight. She never thought her singing to Koch that the Italian fleet would be construed as an endorsement. But many fans, including her father, were very, very distressed over the news. So she invited Mario to join him at her concert in Marbury Street. But if she sings her the top to Koch, what's she going to sing to Koch? Suggestion I did in my mind. <laughs> so my father calls and he said, you better just make sure I said, Daddy, are you being ridiculous? You expect me to call me a father that can't come because you're Jewish? I have to bring my, my daddy said I have to bring my father to the daddy. Are you not being ridiculous? He said, you just better make sure you make good because it looks very bad for you. I said, okay, I'll call my father to the daddy. So I did, and he did <laughs> And actually, I have to tell you, throughout my life, with all the successes and all the disasters and all the mistakes that I made, there was only one thing I was very certain of and locked in forever now. And that was the fact that it is so great to be in town.
But the St. Gennaro speech. A little bit. Right over here. Back. Ball for Connie Francis. 